Hello guys, this is Engineer Bonjobe Arbello and you are watching CBAS. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. This is our problem number 5 for the enforced concrete design analysis of singly reinforced beam under ultimate strength design. Compute the design moment capacity of the beam shown in the figure. Assume F'C as 21 MPa and FY as 345 MPa. So same pa rin ang approach natin sa ating problem number 5, kagaya lang dito sa ating problem number 4. So solve natin tong area na to. And denote natin as area 1. So area 1 is equivalent to 150 multiplied by 150. So this is 32,500 millimeter squared. Then, isolve natin yung required area natin for compression. That is equivalent to 0.85 F'C multiplied by area compression is equals to AS. Assume natin na mag-yield ang bakal. Then, ang ating FS is equivalent to FY. So, solve natin ang AS. This is pi over 4 multiplied by 32 squared multiplied by 4. So, this is 1024 pi millimeter squared. So, matutod na natin yung area compression. AS is 1024 pi multiplied by FY over 0.85 prime C. Ang F prime C is 21 mega pascal. So, 62,177.135 mm squared. So, since ang ating area compression ay greater than sa ating area 1, therefore, yung area, uh, yung ating A is greater than 100 50 millimeters. So ngayon, andito raw yung location ng ating rectangular stress block. Greater than sa 100 feet. So this is A. Then ang gawin natin, Punin natin yung buong area na to. Saka natin ibawas itong dalawang area na to. So siguro kahit wala na yung ating stress diagram, eh masasolve na natin to. Ipakita na lang natin dito sa drawing yung mga forces. So para sa buo, para C1. Then, ito naman para sa C2. So, C1 and C2. Tapos, ito naman para sa tensile force. Tensile force E. So, ang ating nominal moment is equivalent to C1 multiplied by D minus a over 2. Then, minus C2. Ipawas natin yung C2, di ba? Multiplied by D. Okay? Minus 150 divided by 2. Okay? So, kalahati lang yan ng 150. Yung kanyang centroids. So, isolve natin yung A. Paano ba masolve ang A? Ang A natin is masolve natin by equilibrium. 
C1 plus C2 is equivalent to tension force T. So, C1 is 0.85 F prime T multiplied by yung buong area which is equivalent to 450 multiplied by height na A. Then, ipawas natin itong dalawang area na to which is equivalent to 150 times uh, 150 squared okay, multiplied by so, pinactor out na natin yung 0.85 F prime C. Then, equivalent to AS FY. So, assumption ulit natin is nag-yield yung pakal. So, dalawang assumption natin dito ba? Yung A saka yung pakal. So, dapat ang makukuha natin na A dito ay greater than sa 150 but less than sa 625. So, what is A? A minus 150 squared multiplied by 2 is equivalent to AS. Ang AS natin nga pala is, okay, 1024 by multiplied by FY. 345 pa rin ba? Okay. So, this is 238.17. So, okay na tayo sa A kasi nag greater than tayo sa 150 millimeters. Ang kailangan natin patunayan is kung talagang nag-yield yung bakal. So, let's solve for C, which is equivalent to A over beta 1. So, since ang ating ano, um, F prime C ay nag less than sa 21 megapascal, therefore, ang ating beta 1 is equivalent to 0.85. Okay? So, what is our C? 280.20 millimeters. And now, let's solve for Fs, which is equivalent to 600 multiplied by 600. Ay, okay, sorry. Uh, this is D minus C over C. Seven three eight point thirty three mega pascal. Ngayon, since ang ating FS ay nagreader than sa FY, therefore is still yields. So tama yung ating assumption para sa bakal at tama rin yung ating sagot para sa A since nagreader than sa one hundred fifty and less than sa six hundred twenty five. So, i-shade na itong mga to. Ayan. Okay? Ngayon, masasolve na natin yung C1 and C2. So, C1 is 0.85 F prime C multiplied by A multiplied by 450. Ito naman is 0.85 F prime C Multiplied by area na 150 squared. Multiplied by 2. Divide natin ng 1,000. So, 1913.10. Kilo Newton. Ito naman is... Eto three point twenty five. Kaya masusod na natin yung nominal moment. Sa nineteen thirteen point ten multiplied by d, which is six two five minus a over two. Nabang e over to natin. Okay, two three eight point seventeen over two. Then minus c two which is 803.25 multiplied by D minus 150 over 2. Then, i-divide natin ng 1,000 para maging kilonewton meter. So, this is 
kilonewton meter. At ang pinapasob sa atin dito is design moment. So, ibig sabihin, that is PMN. Ang tanong, ano yung ating reduction factor? So, check natin. Ang FS natin ay nag-greater than sa 400 megapascal, but less than sa 100, uh, 1,000. Okay? 1,000 megapascal. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Pasok tayo sa transition zone. Yeah. So, ito siya. Yung ating FS ay greater than sa 400, but less than 1,000. So, pasok tayo sa transition zone. So, ito yung gagamitin natin na equation. Huwag na natin isolve yung strain. Kahit doon na lamang tayo sa stress. So, therefore, under tayo ng transition zone. So, let's solve for the reduction factor phi. This is equivalent to 0.65 plus 0.25 multiplied by Fs na 738.33 minus Fy na 345 over 1,000 minus 345. So, this is 0.80. Nakita nyo? From tension control na 90% sa transition zone, eh, talagang mapababa tayo sa 0.90. But, syempre, kung nasa transition zone tayo, dapat mataas naman tayo sa 0.65. So, since meron na tayong reduction factor phi, eh, di makukuha na natin yung design moment. So, 0.80 multiplied by 526.08. So, ang ating design moment ay 420.864. Kilo Newton Meter. At syempre, hindi na natin gagawin yung kukunin pa yung resultant force, tapos magbabarig ng theorem, tapos kukunin natin yung ating moment arm between the uh, tension force T, tapos yung ating resultant force. Kahit hindi na. Kahit ganda na lang naman kasimple yung solution, okay na. Kasi same pa rin naman yung makukuha natin na sagod panigurado. Okay? So, so this is our problem number 5 for reinforced concrete design analysis of singly reinforced beam under sa ultimate strength design. So that's it guys. Sana nag-enjoy kayo at marami kayo natutunan sa mga discussion ng mga concept and problem sets ng CEVAX video tutorials. But of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. God bless everyone. Bye!